How much does it cost to learn a new skill like trading? Let's talk about that and more right now. Hi Forex traders, it's Andrew Mitchum here, the Forex Trading Coach, and today is Friday the 30th of July. And in this video and podcast, I want to have a talk and a bit of a chat about the cost of learning a new skill, and uh, in particular Forex trading. You know, what's it cost you in terms of time and money, and what can you get out of it? Um, so what I've done is a bit of research into comparing it with other um, courses out there. So let's have a look at in New Zealand here, which is generally quite a cheap place for education. Um, I've done a bit of a Google search and I've seen that somewhere between about five and 10,000 US dollars is what it will cost you uh, for tuition fees if you went to university. Plus, of course, you've got your living expenses on top of that. I then went and had a look at what it would cost you in the UK. And it's somewhere, depending on the course, between about 20 and 50,000 US dollars per year for a university course, plus an average of around $18,000 per year for living expenses. I then went and had a look at what it would cost in the US, and it's somewhere between uh, about thirty and forty thousand US dollars per year uh, for your tuition fees and your living expenses. So you can see there's quite a, a common theme there. Now, as you know, if you've been following me recently, um, over the past uh, year and a half, I've been learning to fly a helicopter and I've passed my uh, private license back in March. But that still costs me um, in, in learning and tuition fees, etc., around 26,000 US dollars to learn that skill. And when you think about all of these, uh, the university skills, is when you come out of that, don't forget that's per year. When you come out of that, you then still have to go and get a job and earn a salary, probably with huge amount of debt. And so I look at that and I think, well, why is it that people don't invest in their forex education? And what is the reason? Do people just think that they can go out there and Google research and, and find how to trade themselves? Um, that could be possible and you know, people can be self-taught and that's exactly how I learned to trade <clears throat> myself. But it does take such a long time, a lot of trial and error. And by then, you know, for me, it took four years and by that stage, most people give up. So when you look at something you know, that's maybe going to cost you a couple thousand dollars and it's going to help you shortcut that, that um, time and that, um, that headache of learning, plus the money that you're likely to lose while you're learning, you know, it, it to me just seems a complete no-brainer why people um, don't consider that a good investment in themselves in terms of monetary investment and time investment. And also don't forget that once you can uh, make money through trading, it's a skill that you have, it's something that you can pass on to other people, plus it's something of course you can use as a passive income to start with and eventually some people can go on and earn their entire income from trading. And when you look at the actual investment in that in terms of your education, the cost of buying uh, a good course, it's absolutely such a small amount to pay uh, for what the enormous gains can be. So I just wanted to run that by you when you compare uh, a forex course, uh, a good forex course with good uh, university education. Um, and of course the actual uh, ongoing cost of learning to trade in terms of a computer and internet connection are tiny compared with going out to work every day for someone and being sort of forced onto a salary because that's what they say you should be on. So I just wanted to run that by you and just uh, give you that comparison. The other thing I wanted to uh, talk about is I've received an email here from uh, my bank telling me that my interest rate on my, this is a, an online bank account that I never go to a branch. I don't have any things like checkbooks, even though they're a thing of the past, but you know, I, I don't do anything with this account in terms of a um, very few withdrawals and it's purely internet based. My current uh, rate of interest has gone from 3% to 2.75% uh, because of the uh, interest rate drop out of New Zealand uh, last week. So 2.75% uh, per year as an interest rate um, when compared with most other banks around uh, other countries around the world, that's probably quite good for some of you. Um, but for here in New Zealand, that's not very good. 2.75% is pretty average. You know, you're not going to um, make a lot out of that, are you? And so again, when you think about that, um, some people can make that through forex trading on just one trade. 
you know, if you said you're looking at making 1% to 2% on average per week, um, after two weeks of trading with good trading and money management and understanding of what you're doing, you can make more in two weeks as an average than uh, that bank's going to pay me in one year. So, you know, when you put all these things together and you see the amazing returns can be made from trading, the amazing benefits of trading, working from home, et cetera, low cost, um, just goes to show that uh, a little bit of money up front put into your own education uh, can go a long, long way. Um, if you'd like to know more, don't forget to uh, jump onto one of my free webinars that I hold each week. One webinar is designed for new traders, the other webinar is designed for more experienced and lightly frustrated traders. Uh, so jump onto one of those two if you've not been on one of those already in the past. So have yourself a great week. Um, it's been a fantastic week for trading. Um, charts have just been really favorable for trading this past week. Um, clients are just telling me they're making some great returns. I had a client just uh, this morning email me and say, hey, Andrew, made over 5% this week. So that's uh, excellent news. So have a great week and look forward to talking to you this time next week. This is Andrew Mitchum, the Forest Trading Coach.